Hey Wastelanders, this is Gary from The Last Ranger. And before I start the review, well, let's go ahead and tell you what I'm reviewing. I'm reviewing the Dagger Knives Pelican and I'll be mentioning its brother the sting so let's uh, before I uh, start talking about the pelican let's give a few shout outs I wanted to give a shout out to DNA Hanks he's a new member on the one under 1k wall you should have saw him he was the last uh, circle on the wall and I got a new Grateful Panic uh, sticker for my physical wall so yay <laughs> but anyway the link to the DNA Hanks uh, it will be in the description please give him a view and uh, you know stop by his channel maybe subscribe you might like uh, what his content is I like it so and I wanted to welcome my new subscribers to uh, if after the giveaway and you you feel like sticking around please do I could you always use some new uh, people to talk to I I mean I like my current people I talk to but I can always use more if you don't like it and you have to go you have to go <laughs> nice yeah. to have you stay even if it was a tiny bit and lastly for my 76.5 percent of my audience that's not subscribed consider subscribing help me achieve the 1k he help all my members my fellow channels on the wall achieve 1k it's not going to hurt you if if you don't like the be in the notifications just click on off the notifications and just subscribe please <laughs> anyway let's get on with the review let's give you a little history about this knife a, a little history about the the company this knife was designed and built in Russia, not China, not America, Russia. Anyway, this company is uh, fairly new to the U.S. I think it was introduced to by Blade HQ in 2020. That's the first time I've seen knives show up. Maybe they're there before 2020, but that's when I notice. So I'm sticking to that. Um, but this company got its start in 2017 in Moscow. So, want to know how to get these knives? Check with Blade HQ or this French company on the screen or Dagger Knives themselves. All links will be all in the description. I'll I'll link you to the Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube channels for Dagger Knives too. It features this Dagger Pelican features D2 steel. It's a spear point. Uh, Blade HQ calls it an other, but I call it a spear point. And it's a flat grind, stone wash blade. It's G10 scales. These, this G10, I dyed. It's usually orange. They had, they have some other colors, but I think they only had the orange in when I bought this knife. And it's a liner lock. Tip up, right, and left carry. Believe it or not. It features a 
screaming skull pocket clip and at first i thought it was kind of funny but it's a really good pocket clip and it, it kind of grows on you with the looks it's different and first as far as the blade it grows on you too <laughs> i've i think uh many people would probably be turned off the blood by the blade shape but it kind of grows on you i like it it's a manual flipper with thumb studs and it has a wave feature. I'll show the wave feature. Uh, yeah, let's show the wave feature now. So I'm not the fastest draw on the, on the West. <laughs> but let's see how the wave feature works. And these pants, I've never owned a wave knife before. So I don't know if you're supposed to wear jeans with it. Let's see. Yeah. Let's, let's see that in slow motion. So, like I grab it and push. It's open when you just have a regular knife with a similar body style so you pull it out and flip it open it's reliable because you're used to doing it that way if you have the wave knife it's not super reliable unless you are a practice pro which I am not so But it's fast if you're a practice pro. So if I didn't use the wave feature and I pulled it out, I can just flick it up that way too. So maybe there's a few seconds head start. Yeah. Anyway, that's how the wave feature is. Welcome back. This uh, uh this knife also features bearings. It's on and it's again it's made in Russia. <laughs> let's uh do some knife size comparison. All right. So let's let's compare it to the Benchmade bug out. Tenacious. Compare it to a big Amari knives slip joint, and I forget. I think it's called the Creator. If not, look down there on the screen. And let's compare it to its brother, the Sting. It looks like it's a little bit bigger. But believe me, it's the same size. <laughs> it's the same size handle. It's a fact that the same handle. It's just a different blade shape. So I took the size and weight myself. I, if you look at Blade HQ's description of size and weight, they're wrong. Let's just let's just say they're wrong. The handle is four point seven five inches and the blade is three point seven inches for instance blade hq says the blade is four inches it's not it's three point five inches cutting edge overall it's eight and a half inches blade hq says it's eight and three quarters inches it's not <laughs> and it weighs 4.16 ounces so it's not a heavy knife it, it sounds like it's a heavy knife but it it really isn't i i i carry it all the time and i don't notice the weight at all 
I absolutely love this knife. If you get used to the look of the knife, the blade, especially the wave feature, this knife, as well as its brother, the Sting, are the fidget kings. You could you could fidget with this knife all day. You can fidget spidey flick it. You could uh, thumb thumb hole flick it, thumb stud flick it. You can even let's see if I can show you the most fun feature. Yeah. I really like shaking that <laughs> out. That's the that's the most fidget friendly feature. <laughs> and its brother does the same thing. I like Spidey flicking it out. I like thumb hole flicking it out. I'm not do good at thumb hole flicking out. Like I'm better at Spidey flicking it out. And oh, you can shake it out. You can reverse shake it out. Yeah, that's why I like about this knife the most and this one. Plus the added wave feature. Sweet. Anyway, I don't got I don't have much about this knife, but because I I already reviewed this thing. And this is the knife is basically the same. The only newness of the newness feature is the wave feature. I and already saw that. But I don't know. I like it. For $65, I think it's a great knife. Great looking knife too. This is probably going to be my, um, not grail, but I'm probably eventually going to acquire all the dagger knives. I like this knife that much. So consider checking them out. Consider subscribing. Consider visiting everyone on the wall and subscribing. Consider... The 76 point, what is it? 76.5% <laughs> of my audience. Please, just subscribe. Consider you, subscribing. Helping, help, helping a fellow YouTuber out. Take care, Wastelanders.